Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the four part docu-series on the lovely Wendy Williams. You guys, I love her so much. Despite what, you guys, I want to say this right, despite however you feel about her, despite whatever you think about her, we're not going to sit down and deny that woman's impact. We're not going to sit down and deny that woman's imprint in radio, in media. We're not going to sit down and deny what she's done. Yes, of course, she's not the brightest star in the room. She's not the smartest. And I would always say this. Of course. She's very vile. I think Wendy Williams have played a crucial part in the destruction of our black community. But this is our black sister at the same time, or our black auntie at the same time. We can't let her go down like that. Okay? We cannot let her go down like that. And of course, she might have a malicious way of commentary and her delivery and her news and her... Yeah, but this is a sad way to go out for someone that have a syndicated radio show, syndicated talk show, for someone that have really leave a mark on all of us and the world, okay? So today I'm going to discuss and I'm going to give my opinion because this is a healthy dialogue, you guys. I just want to give my healthy opinion on this, my auntie right here. I got to lift her up because it seems like no one around her is doing it. I got to lift her up and I got to make her feel wanted. I got to, you, you get me right? I don't want to thank Black China for really lifting her up. Beautiful. One of, you know, one of Wendy Williams' targets. You know, back in the day, but I'm so happy that, you know, they both grow apart from that and still see each other as human beings. But what we're not going to do is discredit this woman and make this woman feel like, wow, you deserve what you're getting because of what you've done and what you've said to so many people. And I want to give you guys, I, I, every time I go on social media pertaining to Wendy Williams, I'm seeing a lot of comments saying that this is Wendy Williams karma. Well, I mean, I kind of understand why y'all would say that this is her karma, but now this is someone's health that is at risk. I think just like what the, just like what her, you know, the sister say that this is just not alcohol abuse. We could look at Wendy and see that there's something sinister happening to Wendy Williams. You could see it in her eyes. You could see the pain. You could see it that is so. It's something so. It's something so right in front of your face, but it's so hard to pinpoint what it is. You get my point, right? And as I was like listening to someone on YouTube pertaining this same topic, it was like they were talking about Wendy Williams and her show and Denmark and how they did her and you know how the Illuminati works and you know, of course, with the freezing of her money too came to play after and everything, you know. But that person saying that yes, her time was up. Then Mark decided to go a different route. You know, they press the button and once you were owned by the machine, they can do whatever they want to do to you. So now she got to know, according to what Wendy Williams said last, you know, about, you know, I'm using her words. Now that Wendy Williams is back at square one, she now got to hit the skins and scram. So she back at the surface looking for a new way of earning money. And I want to say this too. I do not like the publicist and the manager. I do not like Sean and I do not like Will. I feel like they, I mean, not I feel. Watching this docuseries, it makes me, it, 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 it irks me knowing that they playing in Randy Williams' face. For real. It irks me because I can see it happening in real time. Right? Especially... The Sean girl. She need a new manager. She need a new pop. She need a new new. She need a new new. Right? And like what the sister and the niece is saying, like, no, even the son. 
Randy Williams is not her best. She needs her family. And she don't need to be around people like Will and Sean. Because watching this series, it seems like they're actually exploiting her. Exploiting her pain. Exploiting her shortcomings. No. If you're a Wendy fan and if you really know Wendy Williams, you would know that she would not want to be shown like this. I don't like it. I don't. As a fan, as someone that really loved that woman, that come on, I would always say that Wendy, despite what you think about her. That woman came in the game. She created a lane. She created a way. She created a path that so much people usually don't. Because before her, it was an Oprah, but it was a different style. But after that, Wendy Williams impact, everybody up until now, even me, the way, the way how we deliver our news, the way how we deliver our commentary, the way how we love to gossip and we love to as absorb the celebrity culture of life and the gossip and everything and that is Wendy Williams right there she changed the way how everyone interacts with gossip news outlets drama the media celebrities she she changed that way so it's sad that she's going out like this you know, even I, I mean, I have a really, well, I don't want to call him a friend. I have, a, you know, someone that we bonded over many women. So he, you get me, right? Great minds think alike. And I was even saying he probably even sad to watching it because mm -mm, they froze our money. It ain't right. It ain't right. It's really sad, though. It's sad. Like what Dr. Umar said. Dr. Umar went on live and, you know, he was asked questions about Wendy Williams and what you think about her. I, I really do. I'm not a big fan of Dr. Umar, but what he said on that live really gave me some cold bumps. He said, Wendy Williams is literally a Hollywood sacrifice happening in real time. It is. And when, when, and when someone is being sacrificed, it, it doesn't always, you know, means blood or, well, you know, someone kill her. No, it can mean sacrifice your soul, sacrifice your worth, sacrifice your well-being, sacrifice your health. It doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, death. But I feel she is a sacrifice. I can see it. Her eyes look dim. And they, they also look bulge out too, but they look lifeless. Her face, her skin look lifeless. I forget about the foundation. That's what foundation can do. They work wonders. Words are fancy. Come on. So, it's really sickening that Randy Williams is going out this sad. But, I would always say this. I see a lot of people saying that it's over for Wendy Williams. Uh-uh, it's not over for Wendy Williams because I would always say this. Once you have another chance, once you have another life, once you wake up the next day, once you are still living, that means you have, you can always do over. You can always, you know, reel back, you know, you know, wheel back in the road. You can always, you know, hop back in the driver's seat of the car, of your life. You can always, you know, get that second chance so it's not over for Randy Williams I want to see my girl back on the radio or, or, or on TV doing what she does best because watching this docuseries it seems like this is all she loved just like a musician just like R. Kelly music is all he knows you know and for Randy Williams is this like she said she was never academic she was never one of the bright students but what she loved was radio and what she loved was talking what she, and I'm the same way too and that's why I'm passionate about this because I love, this is why I love, I feel like I'm meant to do podcasting and everything too. And that is what she seems to really want to get back into. But what I would say, Wendy Williams, you don't need, like, like what her son said too. She don't need to get back in the realm of podcasting or entertaining people or interviewing people. She's... She's, she has no right to be interviewing no one right now, to even to, to even been 
be in a big production right now because it will only trigger her and th those big production you know those big production works can really trigger someone like Rennie Williams especially in the state that she's in because this is a a fragile state to be in as a human being let alone as a senior citizen at her age to be in it's very fragile this is why those people like will and sean they need to be fired because they're not professionals they don't know how to deal with stuff like this they don't know how to deal with stuff like this this is a fragile matter and i feel like they're hindering her she need family family like family this is the best thing for the best solution for stuff like this a matter like this is either family like a, a warm place for the patient or real hands-on real hands-on debt with stuff like this from professionals I mean back in the day Wendy Williams could have probably you know deal with it herself and get you get me right she was young and she was vibrant but no she's getting older she needs to deal with stuff like this differently. Like I said, this docu-series did not show Wendy Williams in the best light. More so, it hindered her from any future deals as of right now, okay? Like, come on, if I was a fucking producer or, you know, someone that runs a production company or an executive, and I see Wendy Williams come in my office asking me for a deal with her eyes open wide like a fucking cartoon character, I will ask if you were crazy. Like, this is a liability for my production company, for my producers, and anyone that does it, anyone that put Benny Williams on a show to run a show or give her a deal, they don't love her. They're only in for it for greedy motives. They're only in for it for their pockets. Benny Williams needs to heal. Get better. Think about your family. Think about yourself. Think about your son. And then move on and then become great again. And that's how I feel. And regards in her dementia, I I don't I, I don't even know. I mean, I could see certain parts of it being dementia, but knowing how the media works, they just really throw stuff out there to really cause terrible you, you, you get my point right because now now that the, the dementia is out there now questions is well is she capable of handling her own money and because she and because stories and headlines like that will be thrown around that's why people like many Williams will be under the guardianship and it's not fair You want to know why? Because the family wouldn't get the money. This always happens. This always happens. And I want to know why this documentary was even made and put out for. Because I want to know who getting the money off this documentary. I want to know. Right? I really want to know who's getting the money. Who's earning and who's getting the piece of the pie of this money. Is it lifetime? Is it the powers that be? Is it the family? Is it the people that are just around Wendy Williams for the money? What? Who, who, who and what? What? You get my point, right? So, to see this woman exploit, to see this legend exploit on TV is sad. It is sad. She's not perfect. She's not, like I said, the brightest star. But it is sad that people want her to work still. But that's Hollywood for you. I was even, you know, I didn't even want to bring up Shirley Temple. But, you know, I was kind of like, you know, going deep in the rabbit hole of her story, but it kind of, it is, you know, it, Hollywood don't let you allow to grieve. And, and even on top of that, she mother, her mother died and she didn't even get a chance to grieve that too. 
Talent is not supposed to grieve. Talent not supposed to have a bad day. Suck it up and you're a talent. You gotta go there and make me the dollar. Like, and that's sad that they always remove, they always strip the humanity away from celebrities and talent. I mean, yeah, of course that's what it comes with, but at the same time, you know, come on now. You know? But Wendy's my girl. I wanna see Wendy get better. I want to see when you get better. Then you come back and make a big impact. Or continue to do what you do and what you do best. I don't want to see you like this. There's people that still love you. Like, you come on. You get my point, right? And I was saying this too, a lot of people don't like Wendy Williams because I think she was probably the truth. She wasn't the one that was sitting there and play footsies with you and play ring a ring of roses. She wasn't gonna do that. She spoke truth. And I wanna give you guys an example. Because, you know, back then, Wendy Williams exposed P. Diddy, you know, 10, 15 years ago. You see, y'all know who to fuck with. But anyway, now 10, you know, 15, 10 to 15 years later, look at what, look what's happening to P. Diddy. So isn't that the truth or is it that just? Come on. She's that woman, Wendy Williams said a lot of truths. She did. She did. She was a credible source. And watching this docu-series, I was, and this is, this docu-series have nothing to do with Sherry Shepard. This matter have nothing to do with Sherry Shepard. But if you was, if you follow timelines and if you really know what is really going on, I think it started with her. You get my point, right? Manny Williams earned everything she has. The money that they froze, she earned it. She earned it. For Sherry Shepard, now it was given to her. Sherry Shepard didn't work for nothing. And just so you, these rappers that y'all like to call, you know, industry plants, Sherry Shepard is an industry plant in the realm of, you know, talk shows. Sherry Shepard is an industry plant in the realm of talk shows. Like how you would have Ice Spice and you know, like the, like the Lil Nas X as industry plants in the realm of hip hop. Sherry Shepard, Kelly Clarkson. You know? Cause I would, all, I don't like those, you know, in the in that realm. I love Sherry Shepard and I love Kelly Clarkson as people, but not in that realm. Those are not those girls. You get my point, right? Sherry Shepard. They give Sherry Shepard Wendy Williams time slot, and they give Kelly Clarkson Ellen time slot, which is horrible. So it's really sad. It's sad. It's sad. It is sad. It is sad. Wendy Williams, we are praying for you. There are people out here that still love you. I want you to heal. And it, and it seems like this here, this docu-series is not like in real time. I think because of course they've been filming throughout since 2021 and 20. You get me right? This seems like the aftermath of what a destruction like that can do to someone. I think this is the aftermath. Watching it, it seems like that. It seems like she's on her bounce back for real. You know, she's looking a bit healthier in certain scenes. I see her, you know. And when they're watching this docu-series, I can see that some of the thing, some of the stuff in here are old. Cause I've seen and I've heard certain stuff in here that been surfing, surfacing on social media and everything. But yeah. Man, I want my girl get back up. Get up, Wendy Williams. There's people that you need to inspire to, like, come on. 
There's people that really need you. We need to hear your voice in the state of how our culture, our society, how pop culture is right now. We need to hear your voice. Come on. Wendy Williams was missing from the Cassie and Diddy whole situation. She is missing from a lot of stuff. We need you back, Wendy. I love you, queen. We need you, girl. We need you. But I really don't want her on TV anymore, actually, still. But, you know, I want her on Raw. Raw. You know? My girl, man. It's sad, though. No one is perfect. And I would never wish stuff like this on my enemies. And I like now I wanna. But I still don't wish stuff like this on y'all. You know? But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to give my, you know, five cent piece on what I think about, you know, this whole situation because it's sad. It is sad that her family. Oh, oh and this too, it seems like she had been stripped away from her family. You see, I don't even know this because this can be so kind of like. I really don't know. Come on, this is as crazy as the Britney Spears conservatorship shit. Only thing, it was with her family, and now this is with total strangers, right? I don't even know, because sometimes, when I first start, when I was first start watching the docuseries, I actually thought the son, you know, of course, but I thought the son was actually, you know, the reason why Benny Williams was on the conservatorship, because he was, I thought he was, like, stealing the money or taking money. You get me, right? Cause I really want to know this. What the fuck? Your Uber costs over like a hundred thousand dollars. What the fuck? Like get up and cook, boy. But who are? Come on. Uh, over a hundred thousand dollars in Uber Eats. I didn't. Uh, chill. Damn. Damn, you guys. This is sickening. And I see a lot of people like bashing Wendy Williams to treat her staff bad. Well, to, to keep it real, Sean deserved to be spoken like Sean deserved. Let, let, let me keep it real. Sean, the publicist or the assistant, she deserved to be getting speak like she she deserved that. I kid you not. She deserved it. Because I feel like Sean is not all the way 100 authentic. I don't think she is in for it because of Wendy Williams. I don't think she... I, I, I don't... I, I, mm, 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 mm. I don't think so. I don't. I don't, man. But my girl Whitney Houston must see in. You know the Whitney Houston meme that when she laughing and clapping her hands? <laughs> Whitney Houston must see in heaven or wherever she is. I don't know. She might, oh Lord, rolling up in her grave clapping. <laughs> Woo! Y'all so messy. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Whitney. <laughs> but yes. Yes, you guys. <laughs> well, you guys, I just want to give you guys my opinion on what I think for real. Pray for Wendy Williams, you know. You guys, I want y'all to know that if you're facing addictions or whatever, you can always get through it too. We all are addicts. I don't want, I don't, we all are addicts. And I don't want no one to think that they're more perfect than anyone. Because if you really sit and look at life and how society is, we all are addicts to something. Whether it's drugs, sex, you know, these new little things that call the video games, the Xboxes, and the, you know, the, the Z boxes and all of that. We all are addicts in some form. But you also can get out of it. I'm trying to fight my addictions too. 
Not hardcore addictions, of course. Just smoking weed and sucking dick. That's all. But anyway, you guys, bye.